Hi there, it's just me again, some furry trash from Germany with a stupid nickname. And in this video I would like to explain how to properly use the facial expressions and hand gestures on the Cleaner Wolf avatar for VR chat in Chill Out VR and also show some of the features you can access in the expression menu. So in general the Facial expressions are connected to certain hand gestures and the hand gestures are triggered by buttons or combinations of buttons on your controllers. So it's a little bit like puppeteering and you have to memorize which buttons to press to trigger certain facial expressions. But I try to set it up in kind of a logical way with the eye shapes primarily controlled with the left hand controller and the mouse shapes primarily controlled by the right hand controller. Alright, so let's go through all the facial expressions. So the idea is that you can combine gestures with each other. For example, the sleepy eyes with a smile. Or the sad eyes with a sad mouth. Mm -hmm. And then there are also combo gestures where you have to, both, to use both controllers uh, to trigger them. For example... <coughs> Yay! So this already offers a wide range of facial expressions. But there's more, because depending on your character or the situation you are in, you may want to have more nice facial expressions or more badass facial expressions. And for that you can open the expression menu, go to expressions, face expression sets and switch from the default set to, for example, nice. And this would suppress all the aggressive facial expressions, but add a few more nice ones. And for that, maybe I should also turn on the blush. Mm -hmm. Yay. Uh, <laughs> now let's try the white one. Do you feel lucky, punk? All right, now let's talk about the options in the expression menu because there's a lot of stuff to explore. For example, the lay sit animations. You already may know them from other avatars and they are also implemented here and they are very useful for people who don't have full body tracking but want to lay or sit down sometimes in VR. So let's try the lay down for example. And in this position it would also make sense to show the toe posing feature like this. Now let's go to the body options and to play around with the tail options where we can enable the tail back animation and also control the speed of the tail back. And we can also adjust the size of the tail. If this is still not enough, you could also enable the tail posing and play around with that. Yay! You could also grab your own tail. Come up! <laughs> there we go. Look at this fluffy tail. <laughs> The floor collider makes sure that the tail always stays above the floor, which is not uh, the default setting. Posable fist bones means that by default people can grab your tail, but they cannot pose it. Only if you enable that feature here, you allow people to pose your tail. Now let's change the appearance of the avatar, because this is not just one avatar. 
It is more like an avatar construction kit. So let's open the expression menu again. Go to skin presets first and then let's change to the silver skin. And then also choose another shape preset. Go foxy back and now also let's change the ear size, make it 100% and reduce the snoot length. All right. So now let's go to the hair options. Let's choose the curly hair. Go back, go to eye options, eye shape, and also increase the eye size. We could also change the eye color. So, here we go. Now I'm looking more like a fennec or like a rexorium. <laughs> Alright, let's try another example. Go to skin presets again, this time choose Night Howler, go back, shape presets, werewolf, back, and then let's increase the muscle strength to maximum. Let's reduce the ear size again a little bit. And let's turn up the snoot length again and also change the hairstyle. And let's turn down the eye size again. Let's change the eye color to red. <laughs> okay, so. As you can see, no matter whether you want to be a nice and friendly, cuddly avatar or a vicious werewolf, it's all possible with this avatar. So after changing all those options in the menu, you may get lost a little bit with all the parameters. And there's a way to get to the default settings very quickly by just go to quick actions and then reset avatar. So if you want to play around with those options yourself, just try the public version of this avatar in the avatar room of the Virtual Ferns world. And if this is still not enough and you want to customize the avatar, make your own textures, then you could buy it on Gumroad and get access to all the source files like Unity packages, Blender scenes, Substance Painter projects, and also a documentation. In any case, take care. Have fun, stay fluffy, and see you in the virtual world.